Hello everybody. So <clears throat> today I'm going to walk you through setting up an account for um, setting up a brokerage account. Now you can use any of the services that you decide you want to use. I've been using this brokerage account for or this brokerage service for almost 17 years. Originally it was started out uh, the name of the company was ShareBuilder. They were brought up by ING and now ING has been rolled into Capital One. Uh, so if you understand Capital One's um, reputation things hopefully you trust those guys if not uh, you can find another brokerage firm to set up an account with uh, I'll go into more detail about why I chose this company later for right now I want to get those of you that want to open up an account quickly up and going so just follow along with me so you're here at Capital One investing uh, you can read you know a why choose them in investment and retirement um, services that they offer what I want to do right now is get you to uh, just click on open an account and it will take you to this screen where there's three steps right and you, it only takes about you know 10 to 15 minutes if you're a slow typer it may take you 20 minutes to sign up but you have the option of choosing an individual account a joint account which is could be for you your spouse or you and your significant other whatever um, that's general investing that's what we're going to talk about today uh, in the future I may talk about retirement I may talk about um, accounts for your children, especially the education savings account that you see here. We're definitely going to look into that later. Uh, but if you want, if you got children that are probably in like um, junior high school, high school now, I highly advise you take a look at that once you finish looking at this video. And you can ask me questions about these accounts. But it basically helps you save money in a tax free manner um, for your kids' uh, education in the future. So let's get back to what we talked about. Um, we're just in the individual account. And you'll see here they tell you what you need. You'll need your social security number, your employer's name and address, your routing and account uh, numbers for your bank. Uh, the reason why you'll need your social security number is, of course, that's how they tie you. Make sure you are who you say you are. Your employer's name and address because, you know, um, they don't want anyone using Ill any illegal monies to invest with their company. And routing and account numbers because what will happen is there will be automatic withdrawals of an amount you specify later um, on a weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly basis that you can invest your money. I'll get into more details about that feature um, later. So for now, step through, you sign up for, um, click an individual account or joint account, you would click the next button, I'll click next. Here it'll say, it'll tell you about yourself, do you already have an account? You can say yes or no if you already have one, if you already have one, you can put your username and password. Mind you, when they say, do you already have an account, they're asking if you currently have a Capital One account. And that doesn't mean an investment account, a bank account, credit card account. Basically, they'll get you to uh, link those accounts together so you'll be able to log in one time and see all of the services that you have under Capital One's um, umbrella. If no, you click no, and you'll see a different screen. Here, they'll ask you for some basic information. Um, I already have an account, so I'm not going to fill this out. You would then click next. Um, you get into your uh, account details and then the account would be open. Now, that's the end of this video here. Once you fill this out, then take a look at my next video where you'll see me logged into my account and I'm going to walk you through the basic steps of setting up um, and get you started with investing.